Hey, I'm Bob and I like to make stuff. Today we're gonna make a pin board for Mark Rober. That's me. You remember these things? I've always thought that these were really cool and I've always thought it would be awesome to have one of these that's person size that you could actually walk into and push your entire body into and make an impression. But it doesn't really make a lot of sense to have one of these in our office. Fortunately, I know the perfect place for one. Hey Bob, what's up? Hey man, uh, I'm coming to California in a couple days and I have an idea of something that we could make and bring to your new lab. Can I, what, like what is it? How big is it? All right, cool, uh, see you in a few days. Uh, hello? He hung up on me. We need to make a big board that's not too heavy so that we can hang it on the wall and swing it back and forth. So we're gonna sandwich this two inch piece of foam in between two pieces of PVC. This is actually a full sheet of half inch PVC. It's pretty cool stuff. It machines really well on the CNC. So that's great because after we glue all three of these layers together, we're gonna put it on the CNC and cut a thousand holes. So these are different types of materials. So we did a small scale test to make sure that they could stick together. And for that, we're gonna use spray adhesive. This actually works really well when you spray it on two surfaces and then stick them together. Plus, we're gonna be reinforcing the outside of this with a frame, and so that will hold it in place. So basically, we have a whole lot of spraying to do on really big surfaces. We need to make a frame to go around the big box that we cut on the CNC. And so I've got some one bys here that we're gonna cut down to length and then rip them down on the table saw. Plus we're gonna attach all of this frame to the big box thing that we cut on the CNC with construction adhesive. So this thing is not gonna go anywhere. We had to figure out a plan for turning this into the life-size version and we can't just scale everything up. It just would not work. And one of the big things is that each one of these pins has a head on one side. So they are stopped from falling out in this direction. On the other side, they don't have a head, but they're stopped from falling out by this big piece of plexiglass. Well, we don't wanna have that piece, so we're gonna get rid of it and we had to come up with a solution. So the idea is to have kind of a big door with over a thousand holes in it, and then the pins are gonna go through those holes. For the pins, we're gonna use PEX. This is for plumbing, it's a plastic tubing that's pretty inexpensive, easy to get a hold of, and easy to cut. So we're gonna cut a whole bunch of these to length, but then we still have to stop them from being able to fall out both directions on the door. And for that, we're gonna 3D print caps to go in these. You can actually buy caps that go into this pipe, but the outside head of them is the same diameter as the outside of the pipe, so that actually wouldn't do us any good. It would not stop them from being able to fall out. So instead, we're gonna take this and take some measurements and then 3D print our own with a bigger head on them. But we need over 2,000 of these things. So after we model that, we're gonna set up several 3D printers and print a whole lot. And in the meantime, I'm gonna go cut over 1,000 pieces of PEX.
We've got our big door thing made and we need to hinge it. And that's because hinging it against a wall is gonna reset all of the pins. And so we need to attach it to the wall. It's gotta hold the weight of the entire thing, but it also has to hinge a little bit differently than a door would. Instead of hinging off the back corner of the door, it actually needs to hinge off the center because of the thickness of the board. So we need to be able to hinge right here so that it will close all the way against the surface and reset all of those pins outward. So we had to come up with our own hinge. Josh built this hinge out in Fusion and then we were able to export all of the shapes and send them to Send Cut Send so we can have them cut out of steel. Check these things out. So we got all these different plates cut with tab and slot. These all just showed up in the mail based on our designs, which is pretty awesome. So all I really have to do is weld them together. But basically we've got a plate that goes on the floor. We've got a pipe that's gonna drop down into it and act as an acceptor for a pin that's gonna drop down in there and this will be attached to the part that goes on the door. You know what we haven't done in a while? What? Welding montage. Okay, so some quick welding. These things are ready to go. Let me show you how they work. This one is gonna go on the ground, right up against the wall. And yes, it's still ugly, but it's gonna get paint. This is gonna go on the bottom corner of the door, or our big toy. It's gonna fit right in there so that it will pivot off of that center point. And you can see the outside face of this is gonna hit right here. It's gonna hit the wall to reset all those pins. And we have basically the same thing up top. This is gonna get mounted on the wall, and then this is gonna go on the top corner of the door. It's gonna sit right down in there and be able to pivot around. So we've got these super heavy duty hinges all finished. They just need some paint and then we can put them on the box and take it to California. So we finally got all the caps, put in all of the pins and all the pins dropped in the board. And it's looking pretty awesome, but obviously these are all different colors because we had to use different resins and different printers. And so we want them to all be the same and I think it would be really cool if they were the same color as the background. So if the caps are white, then it's gonna look like a pretty solid white surface until you press your hand through and then that blue is really gonna stand out. So we're gonna be dealing with two colors instead of three colors. So basically we need to paint all of these white We've got them in place so that we can spray paint all of the caps here and then once they're painted, we're actually gonna drop this board down against the table, popping all these up to make sure that the painted caps don't glue themselves or paint themselves to the surface. So we got the hinges on, we've got all these painted, we've got a wheel on the end so that it can stand up. And so now all we have to do is drive it across country and take it to California. So Josh has to drive that thing to California, but I've got a faster way to get to Mark's. Oh. All right, we got into Mark's place without him knowing. And so we're gonna install this thing so he can't tell us not to. So we got this thing up here. We're ready to install it on the wall, but to do that, we have to take all of these pins out because they don't have a backer on them yet. Then we'll get it mounted. Then we have to put each one of these back in and put a cap on it. Oh, 
all of our pieces are now ready. We just have to put them in. We got to cut up some of this matting that's on the floor and put this mount down into the floor and then use some tap cons to drill some holes in this concrete wall. But really, once we mount these, this thing will be ready to put in place. Now it's time again to fill this thing back up. So we are here at Mark's lab in his uh, entranceway lobby and we're just kind of waiting for him California right and just take your time oh awesome what's up man? how are you doing well sorry I'm a little late that's all right I see you were, you found my waiting room. Yeah. I did mean, you see the highlights magazine? I did. I went through a lot of it. Did you? Yeah. Oh yeah. Look at you. Well done. Like <laughs> <laughs> actually colored. Welcome to the Crunch Labs. This is ridiculous. This is how you really get into the Crunch Labs. Before we show you the rest of this and before we show it to Mark, I want to ask you something. Hang with me for just a second. Doing projects and trips like this are expensive. And to be honest, there's a whole bunch of really cool projects that I've just never taken on because of those factors. We are bound by schedules and algorithms and I'm kind of tired of it. I want to be able to make the best possible projects with my team, the best possible videos for you. And to do that, we need your help. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our Patreon or through YouTube membership. And we call that group the Maker Alliance and they're an amazing community of people. There's also a big list of like perks and stuff that they get. You can go check all those out if you're interested. But right now and going forward, we're gonna send everybody at every level one of these custom arcade tokens. These are to signify every year of projects that we've made and you can collect these. But mainly, we just want your help. We wanna be able to communicate with you directly. We want you to join our awesome community and we want to be able to get all of our videos to you, whether an algorithm thinks you want to see them or not. I found the, th oh, are you guys? No, come on out, come on. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, did you do the Patreon thing? I did, I did. Okay, well, I just went into our, uh, our, our little dumpster back there. This is an artifact from the Squirrel Obstacle Course, signed not just by Mark Grober, but Fat Gus. Wow. And uh, if you sign up for I Like to Make Some Patreon this week, someone's going home with this. That's crazy. You know what I mean? And by the way, I don't have a Patreon. So you should support Bob's Patreon because whenever I need to make something, you wanna know what channel I go to? This one. And I've been watching it for like seven years. So by supporting him, you're indirectly supporting me because I watch his videos to know how to make my stuff. So that's pretty fantastic. There you go. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. Over to you and to the people. Sign up right now, go. I appreciate that very, very much. Uh, let's go show what we made for you. Okay. All right, and then usually this is the part of the tour where we go up these stairs, show you the tennis ball cannon, but I've been told not to go up there. So we made you something right up these stairs, and it's basically one of these. I love these. What are these called? This is called a pin toy. There's a couple different names. I see. 
Actually, they're really hard to look for because there's a couple different names. Right. But as kids, I like, put this on my face. Oh, yeah, yeah. I put this so much. So basically, we made one of these that you could put your entire body into. A life size? And it's right up here. Has anyone ever done this before? I don't think so. Oh, world first exclusive. Wow. That looks really cool. Just this alone, it looks really dope. Okay, so this is a track. Okay. Because you have to be able to reset this. Ah. The small one works with gravity. Uh huh. So with this one, when you want to reset it, you push it all the way like this against the wall, and it resets it to that position. So if you walk behind it and just press yourself into it. <laughs> That's me! Wow, that is wild. Oh my gosh, that is so fun. So, and then, so now to reset it, first of all, this is just. You can do that, yeah, if you want to. That's so sad. This is like popping bubbles. Hold on, let me do, let me do it manually first. Okay. A few moments later. Whoa. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's so cool to see it actually happen. Okay, I want to see this reset. Okay, it's locked into the floor right here. Yeah. You unlock it. You can. You have a lock point right there too. If you want to see it, like straight down the stairs. Roll it all the way around. Whoa! This is so great. I love this because like the craftsmanship from you guys is like <laughs> next level. Just like it's the details of something like this, right? That is so lovely. You get to register a thumbs up. <laughs> kind of just looks like a. It's like a triangle. A triangle thing. There's nothing, just the full body is like the fun one to do. Yeah. Let's yeah. just, you know, there we are. It's a little more accurate. <laughs> Have fun with it. Okay, no, we will for sure. All right, this thing is finally finished and installed. Big thanks to Mark Big. for letting us come goof around. Big thanks to you, this is incredible. This is like the, the, the crowning piece of the Crunch Lab now, I think, so thank you. Uh, obviously, everybody knows about Mark, but be sure to go check out his stuff. In fact, we have a video that we did together about building the world's largest super soaker. We'll put a link to that one. We've got lots of other types of projects that you may want to check out. Be sure to subscribe. Subscribe right now. Go <laughs> click that subscribe, click the bell. Greatest channel on YouTube. Well, you heard it, and it's on video. That's it for this one. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey, I'm Bob and I like to make stuff. Today we're gonna make a pin board. Sorry, this was the real thing, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Today we're gonna make a pin board. But like, this is the one we're doing? This is the actual. <laughs> Sorry. Today we're gonna make a pin board. Sorry. That's just, I screwed that up. Go get it. <laughs> Sorry, that's me. Yeah, yeah. I like how we're making this. This is super... harder than hosting Jimmy Kimmel Live. I'm super professional, <laughs> nervous here. This is awesome.